Sorry guys, I accidentally hung up there. I tried to uh, tap into someone's video and I don't think you could hear me. But that was nice. To, I'm, I should try it again. Let's see if this, we can try this again. Oh, declined. Well, then don't request me. <laughs> Freak somebody out. God, that's a cool feature, isn't it? I love this technology. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> you like this red glow? It's a soft filter. <laughs> My day was good. Um, thank you, Zuzia. Um, I actually was in the studio. I just got back. Um, I was recording something very special. I can't tell you any, can't really get into the details right now, but it was, it's exciting. So yeah, I was singing. And before that I went hiking, which was nice. It was got a little fresh air, some exercise. Oh, hey, bitch. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, so you're on. I know. America. I didn't expect that. How Where's are the... you? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. How's the comedy going? How's what? You've been working on, like, a bunch of comedy stuff, haven't you? Yeah, we just started season two of Why Women Kill. So nice. We're... Congratulations. I know, bitch. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Um, right on. Yeah. So it's so been good. Yep. We just started on Monday. That's a very public way to say, hey, how are you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've never done the request thing. I've never. So I was like, before, yeah. Yeah. I've never, I was like, oh, what is this? And then I heard you talking about it. And I was like, so <laughs> I pressed it. It was a surprise. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you go, though. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. So this is all new. These, uh, these, um, this feature. I love that. Hey, Adam, I'm gay, but I do not know how to tell my parents. You don't know how to tell your parents that you're gay. Well, um, have you gauged whether or not you think that they are comfortable with it with other people? That's a good first step. Um, maybe kind of test it out a little bit. Maybe bring somebody up. Talk about me for a second. See what they say. If they have really negative views towards gay people, it's a little trickier, I think. Um, but, you know, sometimes sometimes parents might be looking at the outside world and having a certain opinion on something, but if it's their own child, they might feel a little differently. I don't know. Maybe they'd be more understanding because they know you and they love you already. I don't know. That's wishful thinking. It could very well be a tough situation too. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't know. I don't know what advice to give. That's, that's tricky. How's everybody else doing? What's going on? What's going on? You're eating breakfast. Where are you? It's 10 o'clock here on the West coast of California. You're gay, but you're homophobic. Well, that's a shame. How did that work out? FOMO, Chris, crisis. Don't be, don't be scared. Don't be scared of your own sexuality. That's, that's a tough situation to put yourself in. <laughs> I just think, you know, at the end of the day, I think that some, sometimes people make a really big deal out of sexuality and it's like, yes, it is a very important part of your psyche and your life and your happiness. But, you know, it's like, it's not the entire universe, you know, it's like balance it there's other, there's other shit to worry about too, you know, and there's other shit to make you happy and accept yourself, be exactly who you are. But, um, I don't know. It's not the, it's not the be all end all, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
you guys, you know what I'm really excited about is this this side B of Velvet. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Um, there's some great songs that are coming for you. I, I can't wait. Um, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Hey, hey, hey. My voice is soothing. Oh, do you know, I do want to record an audio book. I would love to do that. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll try to make that happen soon. I thought that would be a really fun thing to do. I love that noise. Yes, I am home in LA. That is where I am. Do ASMR. Hi, you guys. So it's wonderful to talk to you. <laughs> you like straight boys? Um, yeah, of course I've found straight boys attractive before, but I also sort of like... I've had like moments with straight guys in my earlier twenties and like it kind of ended up making me feel sort of bad about myself because I was like a secret. I was something that, that was like, they weren't comfortable being open about and that just didn't make me feel good about myself. So it kind of made it like a soft rule to myself not to like get involved with straight guys after that point. I, I'm, I find it much more attractive to be like comfortable and open about, what and who you are. That's that's me. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Is your high note in songs fifth octave? I don't fucking know. I just scream. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not like a, I, I don't, I'm actually not like, a, my music theory education is not great. So I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Can't read music. I do everything by my ear. Oh, is that Japanese? Chinese? I apologize. I actually can't tell visually what the difference between Japanese and Chinese writing looks like. And I apologize. That is ignorant of me. I should learn. <laughs> How often do I do this? Not very often, actually, the lives. I should make this more of a thing. I know. My problem is I sit here and I don't really know what to say. And I'm trying to answer questions. <laughs> I, I should probably start to come up with like, okay, I'm going to talk about this and like have like a, like an outline of what I'm trying to say or something, but I don't know. You've inspired me more and more to sing in public. I struggle since I don't like my voice, but you've helped with my confidence. Oh, well, that's nice. Thanks for saying that. And you know what? Honestly, like, it feels so good to overcome that kind of nervousness and those, those fears, you know, and we all have fears. I mean, I have fears still, but it is a really nice feeling to be able to know that you've like pushed past your fear and, and gone for it. You know, there's a sense of accomplishment there. Like the last time I didn't even read comments when, when I was doing it live, sorry, jeez criticism how do i deal with criticism um i go i'm sorry um talk about my foundation well i actually had a meeting the other day um actually my buddy jovan who some of you guys might recognize from some of my instagram feed is is helping me put this together because that's the the business he's in he's in the nonprofit sector and we are working to put together uh, my own charitable foundation. And I'm very excited about that. Um, we're still in the planning stages. We're getting it all set up and then we'll, we'll start looking at what exactly we want to do specifically, but it will definitely be, um, LGBTQ related, um, and to help, to help people, to help queer people. And allies are definitely welcome to be a part of it. So it's not excluding anybody, obviously.
you should make a makeup line. Yeah, maybe someday. That'd be fun. There's a lot of makeup lines out there right now, though. Oof. Any tips for a new singer career? Take chances. Take risks. Go for it. What type of phone do I have? Um, It's an iPhone, but I don't have the new one yet. It's like, what is this, like a 9 or a 10 or something? A 10? I don't know. I don't remember. Such an Aquarius. <laughs> My spirit animal. Um, I've always kind of thought like a dog or a wolf. Something in there. A wolf when I'm feeling a little spicier, but like really I'm kind of a puppy dog in many ways. How is it being in Glee? Oh, Mary the Night. Oh, yeah, I love covering that Lady Gaga song. That was fun. The hair the other day was a real throwback. Yeah, I cut it short again. Kind of styled it that way. That was fun. Planning to tour soon. Yeah, I'm starting to look at some stuff for next year. Definitely. Um, starting to. When will I pick up Pharaoh? I don't know yet. Um, I'm actually going to see him this weekend, though. I'm going down there. So um, I'm trying to arrange visits with my dog. I saw him a couple weeks ago, too. So I'm trying. But, you know, it's like it's. I have to think about the dog and making sure that he's happy and feeling secure. And if I'm gone every, you know, if I'm in and out as much as I'm going to be, it would be hard on the dog. So. Do you like my glitter? <laughs> Velvet vinyl. Well, I'm going to wait until side B comes out so that it's because basically what's going to happen, guys, is when side B comes out very shortly after that, it'll be a whole album, A and B, like both sides, two parts will make up one whole. So once the whole thing is out, that's when we'll do a vinyl of the entire album. Have I seen Pose on Netflix? Yeah, I love Pose. It's great. I feel like it's like a very important show. I love that it's it's talking about a time in queer history and in a certain like socioeconomical um, bracket of the queer community and really exploring that. I think it's super important. And I've learned a lot by watching it. My zodiac sign, I'm an Aquarius. Hi, Andy. <laughs> Czech Republic, hello. Excited for Fantasy Springs number three. Coming back, Fantasy Springs, here we come. One more time. Have I been able to relax lately? Yeah, I actually have. I've, um, I've had some downtime, it's been nice. Um, balancing it out with planning and planning and planning. There's lots coming up. I'm very excited about it. Ooh, the Tom of Finland documentary. I haven't seen that yet, but I love that art. I mean, it's good. What does my shirt say? This is a Gucci shirt because I'm a label whore. But it's like, I don't know. It's kind of like 80s metal logos or something. Cheers. Just a little white wine. I think there's going to be another music video. I think so. That's the idea. But we haven't started it yet. But I think so. Mm -hmm. You know, FYI, I mean, this is boring because you guys don't really care, but music videos are expensive. Okay. This money is not just growing on a tree. France. Yay. I need to come back to Paris. I haven't been in a while and I really like it there. <clears throat> I did see the King, uh, with Timothy Chalamet. So cute. Um, yeah, it was good. It was engaging. What else guys? What else do you want to know? I should, I should have shit to talk about. I'm so sorry. I don't. 
Puerto Rico. Do you know that I was um, I was conceived in Puerto Rico? Mm -hmm. Conceived. Copenhagen, I love it there too. Yeah, Sydney. I love it down there in Sydney. I can't wait to get back. Have I been working out recently? I went hiking today. Yes. Hey, Jordan. Hi. I did see The Politician. I loved it. Um, I mean, Ryan Murphy's brilliant. And um, Ben Platt's so talented, isn't he? He's so talented. And Lucy, who was in the Queen movie, was in there, and she was great. Um, yeah, I, I really liked it. It was interesting. Yes, Jason, I was on Runyon today. That's exactly where I was. Any tattoo ideas? You know, I haven't gotten any tattoos lately, and I definitely have extra real estate. I need to think of what I would like to put there and where. What did I have for dinner? I actually ordered from a place here in LA called Real Food Daily, which I love because it's super healthy. I felt like eating like super healthy tonight. And then, of course, I just had a big glass of white wine and a bunch of popcorn. So fuck that up. <laughs> yes, Ben Platt. I mean, I, we could sing his praises. He's brilliant. He's a very, very talented performer, act, amazing actor. I saw him in Dear Evan Hansen, like, sobbing. It was so real. And what a great musician. What a great singer. Um, and I loved it on The Politician that he was doing both. It was really great. Talented dude. You know that I actually met him when he was a teenager because his father produced Wicked. Um, and so we were all doing the L.A. Company of Wicked, and the producer brought his family to some of the shows, and we, like, met everybody. And so, like, it's so crazy that now he's, like, a grown-up and a star. It's, it's a small world. What kind of wine? Um, Pinot Grigio. I should put like put that Grigio Girls song by Gaga on. <laughs> Is Queen ever coming to the Middle East? Hmm. I don't know. We did play Tel Aviv. That's considered the Middle East. Um, that's it. What are you doing with your hair? Thought you were growing it. Um, yeah, I was growing it, and then I said, "Fuck that." It was <laughs> so much work. I kind of just like want some wigs, like some lace fronts that are just like hippie, like long, I could wear it with like a hat, just like every once in a while. I feel like, shouldn't I be able to do that? Like, are there any rules? Like if I feel like having long hair, like, can I just have a wig? Like, is that okay? Would you guys judge me if I did a tour date with just like long hair all of a sudden? Does it matter if it's real? <laughs> Twelve hundred strong. I love that you guys are tuning in for this. A blonde wig. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'd go blonde. I think I would keep it sort of. But yeah, like I just want like every once in a while, I just want like like long hippie hair, you know. Any plans to dye my hair again? Why are we all talking about my hair so much? Um, I, I kind of like it dark. I did every hair color I think at this point, so it's kind of like we've done it, right? I've seen it. I mean, I did wear a wig for that one photo shoot where I was wearing the hats and stuff, and I loved it. So maybe I should just get one. I don't know. Since when do I care if people judge? I mean, I kind of care. I mean, I kind of don't, but I kind of do. Can't decide which is which. Leave it dark. I like your hair. Okay, we got to change the subject. It can't be about my hair. This is getting old. <laughs> How is Javi? Well, I talked about it earlier. You're going to have to go watch the video that I saved a little earlier, but we are not boyfriends anymore. We are still great friends. We adore each other. Um, his visa ran out because he is not a U.S. citizen, and he had to go back to Spain, and he's 
pursuing his career and we're still talking and I wish him all the luck in the world and life moves on. That's what happens. Chapters end, boyfriends become friends. That's life. So yes, I'm single. I am a lovely ray of sunshine. Well, thank you. That was very sweet. Thank you very much. Rocket Man, I loved it. Yeah, it was great. I thought Taron Edgington did a great job. I hope he gets some nominations. A hint about the Feel Something Foundation. I talked about that earlier, too. You'll have to scroll up. Concert tickets are too expensive. Oh, for Queen? Um, Sorry. It's an expensive show, actually. That's why they're expensive. The show is expensive. There's a lot of shit we're carting around. What else, guys? Anything else? I think I, I think my battery is almost dead. I need to pop off on this thing for a minute. But um, is there anything else that I can talk about or let you guys know before I sign off for the evening? Am I still friends with Sutan? Yes, I love Sutan. He's so busy. We hardly ever see each other, but we text all the time. And um, I love I love Sutan. I love Raja. Um, and if you have not already done so, check out his new, uh, Raja's new single, Mood Board. It's brilliant. And the video is great. I have not seen the Joker yet. You guys, I have to go. I love you. It's time to it's time to, to to sleep. Thank you. Love you.